Topography. Topography is the art of reading and using contour maps. Uh, just so you know, contour maps and topographic maps are basically the same thing, and I'll talk about both of them just interchangeably. What is a topographic map? The Earth's surface and shape are shown on a topographic map by contour lines. Contour lines are lines connecting points of equal elevation. They can be used to measure the height of mountains, the ocean depths, and they represent slope and steepness. These maps can be useful for planning parks, hiking and riding trails, uh, building and construction, also drainage, and there's a bunch of other useful things that we can um, use a topographic map for as well. Reading topographic maps. Contour lines are lines of different widths. Contours will never cross. This is because contour lines represent areas of the same elevation, so there's never going to be a time where contour lines intersect one another. Uh, used to determine the elevation index, the index contours are the wider bold lines on the map, and the elevations are printed along the index contours. This just means that when you look at a topographic map, the lines that are bold and have the elevation numbers written next to them, those are our index contour lines. The narrower contour lines found in between the index contours just are there to help show more detail of the land surface. Contours that are close together represent an area that has steep slopes. The widely spaced contours, or the ones that are further apart, represent an area that's fairly level or flat, and the ground slope is relatively level. So the areas where the lines are spread out, uh, there could be an elevation change, but it's going to be much more gradual. And the areas that have lines that are close together mean a drastic elevation change, and it's much more steep. The contour interval is the elevation difference between adjacent contour lines. This just means that the contour interval is the change in elevation from one line to the next line. Okay, here we have a picture of a land formation, and we can see on the left there's a cliff, in the middle there's a river, and on the right we have a more gradual hill. Okay, this is the same area, but it's represented with a topographic map. So you can notice, first of all, that the top one is kind of a side view of the area, and the topographic map is a top-down bird's eye view. This is how the topographic maps are always um, taken from this perspective, and even though we can't see the side of the cliff or the side of the hill, we can tell the elevation change because of the contour lines uh, that are representing that. Okay, we have the index contour over here that says it's a little bit of a thicker and bolder line and it says 100 and then we have another one over here that shows 200 so we know that the change in elevation from one contour index contour to the next is 100 and we have four lines in between and five spaces this is just meaning that starting right here on this index contour line of 100 the fifth line is the next indoor index contour. So the difference between these two is 100 feet, and it's represented by these lines and spaces. So in order to determine the difference in between each individual contour line, the little thin narrow ones, we can just take the difference of 100 feet and divide it by 5, which is the number of spaces in between the two. So 100 divided by 5 is 20 feet. So therefore, our contour interval on this map is 20 feet, meaning that each one of these thin lines just represents a change in elevation of 20 feet. Okay, what does it all mean? The more contour lines packed closely together represent a steep cliff-like area. So we can see that on the left here. These lines are really close together, meaning that the change in elevation is really dramatic going from over here up to the top. So it's changing elevation really fast. It's really steep. On the right side, we have contour lines that are spread out more, meaning that the change in elevation is much more gradual, and that area is more level. Okay, some contour lines um, have sort of a weird pattern to them. 
and they form a mountain-like shape or kind of a V-shape over here, and that is the result of erosion over time. Uh, those areas are going to be where a stream or a river has been traveling down the hill over a period of time to alter the elevation and erode away at that hill. So you can tell by the change right here that we have a stream or a river running down this way and right here as well. Now we know that the river is going to be traveling the direction of the red arrows because the water is always going to be traveling from a higher elevation to a lower elevation. The water is always going downhill. Okay, things to remember. Topographic maps can help you find elevations, trails, places to climb. Topographic maps show you the lay of the land. Land forms by connecting points of equal elevation. The index contour lines are the darker ones and have an elevation associated with it, meaning that the thick bold lines are the index contours and those are the ones that are labeled. The contour interval is the elevation difference between two lines that are adjacent. So that's the difference in height between two lines that are next to each other. And the scales on these maps are usually in inches or feet unless you're outside the United States, in which case they're going to be in the metric system.